everybody, it's Miss Katie. I'm going to read you a story titled, The Prince and the Witch and the Thief and the Bears. What kind of story shall we have tonight? Asked Dad as he tucked Jamie into bed one evening. A made up one, said Jamie, with a prince and a bear and a witch and more bears. All right, why not? This, said Dad, is a story called The Prince and the Witch and the Thieves and the Bears by Jamie's Dad. <laughs> Once upon a time, said Dad, there lived a valiant prince. He was brave and, no and a noble prince, and he lived in a far-off kingdom where he... How far off? asked Jamie. What? How far off was the kingdom? The kingdom, said Dad, was far, far away on top of the highest mountain in the world, Mount Really, Really Tall, where fierce bears and dragons and wolves prowl. How fierce were the bears? asked Jamie. Very fierce, enormous and shaggy, with thick matted hair and vicious paws as big as your head. So how did the prince get past the bears then? He climbed down the tall cliffside where the bears couldn't reach, said Dad. Wow, with his horse as well? Uh, yes, said Dad. He carried his horse on his back. Wow, he was very strong, said Dad. So, said Dad, there was this prince and he was very brave. And one day he set off to rescue a beautiful princess. Why couldn't the princess rescue the prince, complained Jamie. Mom says princesses and stories are rubbish. Well, in this story, it's the prince. I wanted to be the princess. All right, why not? The very brave princess set off. No, actually, I want the prince. The prince, exclaimed Dad, set off to rescue the princess. The princess was a prisoner in a dark tower at the edge of the forest. She was being held there by her wicked aunt, who was really a witch with an evil eye. How evil, so evil that it could turn you into stone, said Dad. Or jello? No, stone. But maybe jello sometimes. Well, okay, yes, sometimes. Good, I like jello. The witch had locked the princess up in a tower. Why did she do that? She did it to set a trap for the prince. The witch hated the prince because he laughed at her only friend, a tiny green frog just as big as your thumb, who lived in the folds of her wicked cloak. And so it was the prince that rode for many miles until he reached the tower, a terrible, awful place called Castle, Castle Broccoli. Castle Broccoli. I don't like broccoli, remember Jamie. And at the top of the disgusting, hideous Castle Broccoli, the prince looked for the princess. But before he could rescue her, the witch caught him. The witch caught him, agreed Dad, and they had a fight, shouted Jamie, and they had a fight, agreed Dad. Because the witch was really a ninja, said Jamie. Because the witch was really a ninja, yes, exactly, said Dad. The witch, who was really a ninja, attacked the prince with a mighty leaping kick. But he dodged and she flew over the castle walls and, and... And was eaten by the bears, said Dad. Oh, said Jamie. Dad looked up. What's wrong? I liked the witch. She was a ninja, and she had an evil eye and a frog. And anyways, it was all the silly prince's fault for laughing. And she never got to turn anyone into jello. Hmm, right. The witch was eaten by the bears, he said, or so it seemed. But at the last minute, the princess, who was secretly a famous jewel thief called Fingers Malloy, picked the lock on herself, ran to the wall, and threw down a grappling rope and caught the witch. Yay! But then the tiny frog fell out of the witch's cloak. Oh no, said Jamie. Oh no, said the prince. The witch grappled the frog. The witch grabbed the frog and the princess, and the prince heaved her back up. And the horse helped, said Jamie. And the horse helped, of course, said Dad. Together, they pulled the witch and her frog back up to the top of the castle into safety. Hooray! 
The witch was so grateful to them for rescuing her frog that she said sorry for capturing the princess. And the prince said sorry to the witch for laughing at her frog. And then the prince and the princess, who was secretly the jewel thief, Fingers Malloy, set off home for their next adventure. As night fell and the stars twinkled over the land of Mount Really Really Tall, the witch tucked the frog back into the folds of her cloak where it was nice and warm. Dad tucked Jamie under the covers. How warm? asked Jamie, blink, blinking sleepily. As warm as a lovely warm bug snuggled up in a rug with a hug from his dad who loved him. How much? murmured Jamie. As much as your daddy loves you. Daddy? Yes. What about the bears? Don't worry, said Dad. We'll find out about them tomorrow. And he kissed Jamie goodnight and left him to his dreams. The end. Book drop.